What's up guys, MCG here, bringing you episode 110 of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last video, we stormed the castle gates and uh, I wouldn't say it went horribly wrong, but it certainly didn't go amazingly right either. Uh, in this video, the hope is, is we're going to get that last memory and go pay a visit to Impa. Um, I'm also looking for something else here. There's, shall we say, a shield that I'm hoping to get my hands on. And, uh, yeah. That's, them's the breaks, kid. That's what we're trying to do, so. That's what, that's, that's, that's that. Um, before we get too far into things, I just want to remind you all, to hit the like button if you enjoy the video, subscribe to the channel, stay up to date with all things MCG, and uh, let's have a conversation down below if we can. Uh, what should today's question be? Uh, who is your favorite um, champion? Whoopsie from The Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. Mine is probably Urbosa. She's kind of sassy. She's a strong, independent woman. She don't need no man. I like it. Um, I don't mind Daruk, I suppose, but uh, you know, if I had to choose, I'd choose my girl, Urbosa. I've already voiced my distaste for Rivali and his arrogance. Your arrogance. Uh. <laughs> so. And Mifa's just kind of, yeah, she's a nice gal, but, you know. Oh. Uh, uh, cool, neat trick. Man, these barrels are not dropping nothing. Oops. Kiop. Oh, wasn't expecting to see you there, mate. I'm probably still in the wrong part of the castle that I wanted to be in for what I'm trying to find. Hey! I don't appreciate your sass, mister. Jeez Louise. I keep finding these dragon parts. Since you're gonna break... Eh. Eh. Let's do it. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. I'm not like a hundred percent certain on what that does. Is that all it did? Let's open this little like wind tunnel thing. Oh, maybe I can go higher. Oh yeah, there we go. Cool. Get up there. I might end up exploring this castle forever, just trying to get. Okay, look, I'm trying to get the Hylian shield, okay? That's, that's what I'm trying to do. That's, uh, why even try to hide it? If you're watching this, you probably already know what's in the game. Just, that's what I'm trying to do. Okay, Mr. Eyeball. Like, jeez. I don't like how those look. <laughs> uh, it just looks like things. Another one. Oops. Finding myself a little bit of a nest here. All right, get up and along the way. 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 Oh, hello, friend. Y'all ready for this? Do 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 do. Y'all ready for this again? Do 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 do. Oh, I screwed that one up. Maybe don't be an idiot this time. Gotti. Boom jams. I'm going higher. I intended to go s go lower, but you know, that's the brakes, I guess. I thought I was on the west side. Ugh. Yeah. It's 
suppose I could go get that. And come back for it after. There is that. I see you there, friendo. Do I see wind? No, it's just rain. Estupido. Alright. Climb up here. I imagine there's going to be a guardian targeting me in about 10 seconds. There sure is. This rain is real inconvenient. Oh yeah, here we go. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the timing down on this one, right? No. Well, so far, so good. It's just being patient. Oop. I thought I messed that one up. Yeah, you just gotta be patient. Trust your instincts. And yeah, we'll go pick up the spare parts here. Is there an eyeball? Hmm. Alright. I don't know if I've ever come up here this way. Usually I just climb. I mean, that's fine. Excuse me. Princess Zelda's room. Whoa! Whoa! Hmm. How about no? Ow. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Put you in your place. Yeah, you like that? Just gonna keep recycling weapons at this point in the game. So, if this is... Oh, is this like her room room? I've really never come up this way. I thought her room was up there. I mean, cool. All right, let's see what we got. Oh yeah, it's her room room. After meeting with the champions, I left to research the ancient technology, but nothing of note came of my research. The return of Ganon looms, a dark forest taunting us from afar. I must learn all I can about the relics so we can stop him. If the fortune teller's prophecy is to be believed, there isn't much time left. Ah, but turning over these thoughts in my head puts me ill at ease suppose I should turn in for the night. P.S. Tomorrow my father is assigning him as my appointed knight. Well, what the hell is that supposed to mean? I set out for the Goron City today to make some adjustments to the divine beast Valrudania. I still recall feeling his eyes on me as I walked ahead. The feeling stayed with me so long I grew anxious and weary. It is the same feeling I felt before in his company. And still, not a word passes his lips. I never know what he's thinking. It makes my imagination run wild, guessing at what he is thinking but will not say. What does the boy chosen by the sword that seals the darkness think of me? Will I ever truly know? Then I suppose it's simple. A daughter of Hyrule's royal family, yet unable to use sealing magic. He must despise me. She's got it all wrong. I said something awful to him today. My research was going nowhere, I was feeling depressed, and I had told him repeatedly not to accompany me. But he did anyways, as he always does, and so I yelled at him without restraint. He seemed confused by my anger. I feel terribly guilty, and that guilt only makes me more agitated than I was before. I'm unsure how to put today's events into words. Words so often evade me lately, and now more than ever. He saved me. Without a thought for his own life, he protected me from the ruthless blades of the Yiga clan. Though I've been cold to him all this time, taking my selfish and childish anger out on him at every turn, still he was there for me. I won't ever forget that. Tomorrow, I shall apologize for all that has transpired between us. And then, I will try talking to him. To Link, it's worth a shot. Bit by bit, I've gotten Link to open up. To me, it turns out he's quite a glutton. Oh, I read that wrong. Bit by bit, I've gotten Link to open up to me. It turns out he's quite a glutton. He can't resist a delicious meal. 
When I finally got around to asking why he's so quiet all the time, I could tell it was difficult for him to say, but he did. With so much at stake and so many eyes upon him, he feels it necessary to stay strong and to silently bear any burden. A feeling I know all too well. For him, it has caused him to stop outwardly expressing his thoughts and feelings. I always believed him to be simply a gifted person who had never faced a day of hardship. How wrong I was. Everyone has struggles that go unseen by the world. I was so absorbed with my own problems, I failed to see his. I wish to talk with him more and to see what lies beneath those calm waters, to hear him speak freely and openly. And perhaps I too will be able to bear my soul to him and share the demons that have plagued me all these years. Father scolded me again today. He told me I am to have nothing more to do with researching ancient technology. He insisted that I focus instead on training that on training that will help me awaken my sailing magic. I was so frustrated and ashamed I could not even speak. I've been training since I was a child, and yet... Mother passed the year before my training was to begin. In losing her, I lost not just a mother, but a teacher. Mother used to smile and tell me, Zelda, my love, all will be well in the end. You can do anything. But she was wrong. No matter how I try or how much time passes, the sealing power that is my birthright evades me. Tomorrow I journey with Link to the spring of power to train. But this too will end in failure. Such is my curse. I had a dream last night. In a place consumed by darkness, a lone woman gazed at me, haloed by blinding light. I sensed she was not of this world. I don't know if she was a fairy or a goddess, but she was beautiful. Her lips spoke urgently, but her voice did not reach me. Would I have heard her if my power was awoken? Or was my dream simply a manifestation of my fears? I'm sure I will know the answer soon, whether I wish to or not. I turned 17 today. That means this is the day I will finally be allowed to train at the Spring of Wisdom. When Link arrives, we will set out for Mount Lanayru. The other champions will accompany us there. I've not seen my father since he last scolded me. Things are too strained now. I will meet with him when I return. Actually, I've had a horrible feeling ever since that weird dream. No one would believe a failure of a princess, but... Right now, for no particular reason, I am filled with a strange and terrible certainty that something awful is about to happen. So there's a lot of exposition there telling you what's going on with Zelda and yeah it gives you a lot of insight into her the frame of mind going through all this I mean there's no mistaking it it's a very very heavy thing for a 17 year old girl to have to carry as a burden um, so it, I'm really glad that they include that uh, bit of the diary in there for you to kind of read and really learn what she's thinking because you see a lot of those scenes through these lost memories so yeah it's really cool that they have that in there and I thought it was very well worth reading anyways I guess we better experience another memory here that was like 10 minutes of reading that's gonna be the episode jeez louise Technology could be quite useful against them. I know that. They are essential to Hyrule's future, and our research demands that we keep a close eye on them. However, as the princess, you currently have a crucial unfulfilled responsibility to your kingdom. 
Let me ask you once more. When will you stop treating this as some sort of childish game? I'm doing everything I can. Look, I'll have you know that I just recently returned from a spring of courage where I offered every ounce of my prayers to the goddess. And now you are here wasting your time. You need to be dedicating every moment you have to your training. You must be single-minded in unlocking the power that will seal Calamity Ganon away. I already am. Don't you see? There's nothing more I can do. My hope... My hope is that you... That you allow me to contribute here, in whatever way I can... No more excuses, Zelda. Stop running away from your duty. As the King, I forbid you to have anything to do with these machines from this moment on. Command you to focus on your training. Do you know how the gossip bunglers refer to you? They are out there at this moment, whispering amongst themselves that you are the heir to a throne of nothing, nothing but failure. It is woven into your destiny that you prove them wrong. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. <laughs> Got them all. Well, that's one of the reasons why we came here. Here's her study. Another diary? Oh, her research journal. <clears throat> uh, we'll save that for a different video. Uh, however, it's funny that in one of the uh, memories, she talks about how they couldn't figure out how to grow a silent princess in captivity. They just grow in the wild. Now that the world is in ruin, and really, I mean, there's nothing here to aid them in their growth. A silent princess grew in her study, so that's interesting. Kind of a neat thing to point out. Um, but yeah, that's a pretty heavy moment, and she mentions it in her diary there, that she feels like something bad is going to happen. Oh, jeez. You know what? Let's not play with that. What we're going to do instead is we're just going to warp out of here. Uh, it's not going to let me, is it? Uh, leave this area. Yes. Yeah, I'll see you over there. On the other side. Basically, when I chose to leave the area, it put me right outside the castle gates again. So, and then I just warped straight to Yushika Village, because we're going to go see Impa. But we'll have our conversation with her in the next video. So, sorry not a lot happened, but we got the last memory. We're going to go see Impa and see what she has to say. And uh, then we'll head back to Hyrule Castle and finally clear this thing out. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, you know what I'm going to do in the next one because I guess I just kind of yapped about it. So, we will see you guys in that video, video 111, episode 111, which is later. Okay, just stop talking, okay? Goodbye.